Finding a great place to live in Maryland can be challenging at times. And today we're diving in and we're looking at Baltimore County, Maryland. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you five incredible communities that you should check out if you're looking to move or relocate to Baltimore County, Maryland. So stick around, we're getting started right now. What is going on everyone? It's Adam Taylor back again with another video all about living here in Maryland. Today we're looking at Baltimore County, Maryland, and we're gonna look at five incredible spots that you should check out when searching for a home in Baltimore County. Now, this video is coming to light, and as many in the past have, because we read and try and respond to all of your comments. Now, some viewers had had questions regarding some places in Baltimore County, so I wanted to do a video on it. In addition to that, I'm going to be showing homes to Taylor, who's relocating here from Indiana, who hit us up and said, hey, can you help us find a house? And you know what? I'm gonna do that right after this video today. So let's jump into it. Let's look at these great places for you to check out when purchasing a home in Baltimore County. Let's start this video off with a bang and I'm gonna give you one community that, you know what? I haven't done it justice. And a lot of comments have come in because I've not mentioned this community. And that community, my friends, is Catonsville, Maryland. Now, Catonsville, if you look it up online, is you know recognized as one of the best places to live in in all of Maryland, and there's a good reason for it. It's a fabulous small community, has that small town feel, lots of community involvement, and the market is basically saying that to us because out of the five places that I'm gonna give you here today, the velocity, the speed at which homes go under contract and what they go under contract for, stats say that this is the hottest community. So here's what the statistics say and you need to budget for. Got a median price in Catonsville of roughly $340,000. Now that's up 6.8% year over year. Most of the homes are gonna go under contract in Catonsville within 14 days, and they're gonna go anywhere from one to 4% over the list price. Now you can get all sorts of homes in Catonsville. You can get your typical single family home in a subdivision. You can get a flat style condominium. You can get a townhome in Catonsville. You can get something that is very old that you can restore. And people are attracted to Catonsville for, again, like that small town feel, that's really big, but you've got access to Patapsico State Park and the commute into Baltimore is only 20 minutes. Now, when you're searching for homes in Catonsville, and again, we'll go ahead and put links down below so you can click the links in the description and go right out and see all the homes available. But the zip code is 21228. So my friends, Catonsville, it's a great spot. I apologize for not mentioning earlier on the channel here, but please go check out Catonsville, Maryland when looking for a home in Baltimore County. All right, the second spot we're gonna talk about is Lutherville and Timonium. And I'm writing and in there because if you're a local, you consider Lutherville kind of the spot a little bit closer to the Baltimore Beltway and Timonium is just north of that. However, they share the same zip code. Now, I've done a vlog here recently on Timonium. You can check that vlog out right here for greater details when you wanna look at neighborhood stuff specifically in the Lutherville Timonium area. I urge you to check out this video once this video is over. But here are some of the facts that you're going to encounter regarding housing in Lutherville. You got a median sales price of $421,500. And that is up 5.8% year over year. Now, most homes in the Lutherville Timonium area are gonna go under contract within 21 days and sell up to 2% over the list price. So again, it's not as hot as Catonsville that we just spoke of, but it is a prime spot. Provides convenient access within a 25 minute drive to get to downtown Baltimore via Interstate 83. You're sort of centrally located in the county, uh, just north of Towson. So it's a great spot. Again, the other video that I did on it here, you can go check that out and you'll get to see streets and what things look like. Great schools in the area, lots of shopping, York Road. Eh. York Road has everything that you need. However, it is very congested and can get bottlenecked in so many different spots. You've got construction happening all the time. So if you're looking for any type of home, in reality, more of the suburban style homes. So if you wanna be in a subdivision with a single family home, Timonium is a good spot for you. They have quite a bit of condos, meaning flat style, like apartment style condos out that way and a good mix of townhomes. If you're wanting like acreage, it's probably not the spot for you. With that said, it is one spot that I've mentioned multiple times here on the channel. 
and I urge you to check out Timonium and Lutherville when looking to purchase in Baltimore County. One last thing, I forgot to mention the zip code. So the zip code that, that you need to check out when searching for homes in Lutherville and Timonium is 21093. Again, a link will be down in the description below that you can click right on and see all the homes available in the Lutherville Timonium area. All right, my friends, hey, look, if this is your first time to our channel and you're looking to learn all about the great state of Maryland, guess what? You landed on the right spot. Score for you, okay? On this channel, we talk about all things Maryland. We talk about living here. We talk about working here. We talk about commuting here. We talk about going out and chilling, and most importantly, getting out and having some fun in the great state of Maryland. So if you're looking to learn more about Maryland, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give the little bell a click. That way you're alerted every time we put out another video, just like this one. Now, as I mentioned all the time, we have folks from all over the world reaching out to us each and every day, looking to make a move to Maryland, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move and you need a place to live, my team and I would love to help you out in your transition, but we just need one thing from you. And that is for you to reach out and connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, whatever you need to do. My team and I have your back when making a move here to Maryland. The third spot we're gonna talk to you about here today is Towson, Maryland. Now I have done numerous videos on Towson. Look, I did a pros and cons video right here. I got out with my buddy George and we did a vlog that's right here. So once you finish this video, check the videos on Towson out if you are really interested in learning more about this great spot. Now, for those of you that like living in an urban setting, like city living, and you want to walk around and get to places you need to go just by walking out your front door, Towson is a great spot to do that. What's great about it, it's the county seat of Baltimore County. So lots of people gravitate towards Towson because they've got to go use the court system or they got to visit the government offices. It's all right there. And they probably have the most popular mall, arguably, in Maryland in the Towson Town Center. And there's tons of shops, every shop that you wanna look for, it's right at the uh, Towson Town Center Mall. Now let's look at the housing costs because in reality, that's what you're here for, right? So the median price in Towson right now is getting a little pricey. It's $498,400. And typically most homes will go under contract within 22 days, selling anywhere from two to 4% over the asking price. So what does that tell you? That tells you that this market in Towson is on fire. The good thing about Towson, Towson's pretty big, okay? There's actually five different zip codes. So I'm not gonna give you one specific zip code here. I'm just gonna tell you to put Towson, Maryland in, and we'll have a link down in the description for all the homes available presently in Towson so you can check them out. But here's what you can get. And again, refer back to the video I did with George because we go into these communities and we show you what some of the houses look like throughout Towson. But one big thing that you can get in Towson that you really can't in most other spots is a high rise condo. So if you're looking to live on something with five, six, 10 floors, whatever it might be. Towson is a spot you're gonna be able to do that. Now, the challenge is you're gonna pay for it because the HOA dues and a lot of these high-rise condos are astronomical, five, $600 per month or more. So just be aware of that. So not only can you get that sort of condo, you can get a flat style condo, similar to the high-rise condo, just anywhere from one to four floors in the building. You get townhomes, single family homes, historic homes even in Towson. Schools are great in Towson. We break all of that down in the vlog, so I'm gonna refer you to go back and check that on out. But my friends, look, Towson keeps coming up for good reason. And if you're looking for a good spot in Baltimore County to call home, it's a good spot that you must check out. Look, if you're finding value in this video, hey, it would mean the world to me and keep the wind in my sails and keep me motivated to keep doing videos for you each and every week. If you would hit that like button, it's the one that looks up like a thumbs up down below, I would greatly appreciate it and drop any of those comments down below. Again, this video, part of it is being made because people are like, hey, what's up with Catonsville? Why haven't you made Catonsville? I read this stuff and I really want to give you the content that you are looking for. So ask your questions down below. If you have a question about a certain spot we have not covered, we're more than happy to cover that in a future video for you, my friends. So let's jump in to number four here right now. All right, number four on our list, and we're heading to Northern Baltimore County, and we're going to the community of Moncton. Now, Moncton's an awesome spot. Now, if you are looking for space, 
and you have the budget to afford a lot of space. Moncton is the place for you to do it. I'm talking houses that are four or 5,000 square feet or greater. You want some land, more than a half an acre of land, acres of land, you want a farm. This is the spot you really have to look at. Now, what's great about Moncton is you get space. And more importantly, we see a lot of families gravitate towards Moncton because they sort of want to get out of all the busyness of areas around the Baltimore Beltway. And with that being said, the schools, particularly Hereford High School, is one school in Baltimore County that's very highly regarded. And they do such a great job academically. In addition to that, you've got access to so much in Moncton. You have the NCR trail, which I love going out to and training when I like to go out for a good run that runs right through Moncton and the community of Moncton. It's just so laid back. You almost feel like you're sort of in a different world or you're not even close to Baltimore or any city for that matter when living in Moncton. So if you want some peace and quiet, some space, good schools, and you have the budget to do so, check Moncton out. But here's what the stats say on everything. You gotta expect to pay. The median price in Moncton is $871,000 and that's up 9% from last year. In addition to that, homes in Moncton, they're selling a little bit slower because the price point is naturally higher. So the average home goes on under contract within 29 days of going on the market and sells for anywhere from one to 2% over the list price as of the recording of this video. So my friends, family friendly, great schools, lots of space, Moncton's a spot you gotta check out. All right, number five on our list, it's Kingsville, Maryland. Now, I have mentioned Kingsville a few times here on the channel, and rightfully so. It's a great place to call home. What's cool about Kingsville, it is a small, little tucked away spot in eastern Baltimore County. And actually, part of it is shared with Hartford County. So the zip code you wanna look at and research is 21087 to find all of the homes in Kingsville. But I'm gonna tell you right now, it's sort of slim pickings because Kingsville, again, probably gonna be geographically the smallest area we're gonna talk about here today. Some numbers on Kingsville for you to consider. It is probably our second priciest spot that we're gonna speak of. The median sales price in Kingsville is $775,000 with an appreciation of about eight and a half percent year over year. Now, right now, it is the second hottest market that I'm going to share with you here today with homes going under contract within 12 days of them going active on the market for sales prices up to 2% over asking. What you're gonna find in Kingsville and what you're not gonna find in Kingsville is this. You will not find townhomes. You will not find flat style condominiums, apartments for rent. You're not gonna see that type of stuff in Kingsville. What you are gonna see are larger style homes. I'd say the minimum square footage on a home is probably roughly around 17, 1800, which is on the small side in reality, but you can see some 7,000 square foot homes easily in Kingsville. The lot sizes are gonna be a little bit smaller than you would see in Moncton. So you may see something in a subdivision with a half acre lot up to maybe three acres. Kingsville provides you easy access to downtown Baltimore. The schools in Kingsville are very good. The proximity to sort of get around. I love Kingsville for this because you can jump on Bel Air Road or Interstate 95 or Route 152 in Harford County and sort of get anywhere that you need to go within about a 10 minute drive. So if you need groceries, you need to go to a hardware store, you need to grab a bite to eat, a quick pizza for the family for dinner, Kingsville is a good spot for you to look at. So if you're looking for space, you're looking for good schools and something that's not at the top end of our you know, pricing that we're talking about today, I urge you to check out Kingsville, Maryland. So look, those are five incredible places for you to check out when looking to make a move to Baltimore County. Now, if a move to Maryland is in your future, whether it's Baltimore County or anywhere else in the great state of Maryland, Hey, my team and I, we would love to help you out in your transition here to Maryland, but we just need one thing from you. And that's for you to reach out and connect with us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule your Zoom appointment with the link down below. We love doing those, by the way. No matter where it is here in Maryland, we have your back from Baltimore down the bay all the way to the beaches in Ocean City. My team and I have you covered. Now, before you go, I went ahead, I picked out this next video here. I want you to check this video out because look, I dove in a lot of stuff on Baltimore County. I think this is your next uh, video that you got to check out when making your move here to Baltimore County. So until then, until the next video, rather, I will catch you later, my friends. Have a great day and we'll talk soon. Take care.